she was brave and brilliant. Dame Deborah James, or Bowel Babe as she called herself, raised millions for charity while raising awareness of bowel cancer through her podcast and campaigning. But it was with this silent video that her family announced her death on social media yesterday. The mum of two had passed away peacefully, surrounded by family, after receiving end-of-life care. It was during treatment here at the Royal Marsden Hospital that Emma met Deborah. Today, she's undergoing chemotherapy, but without her friend by her side. She's probably the only person that could ever get me up on the dance floor. She's one of those people that radiated, radiated such a light that just by being in her presence, you sort of feel that and you would want to follow in her footsteps. My overriding feeling at the moment is we've got to keep that light shining. And it's a light that's burned brightly. From the moment of her diagnosis over five years ago, she has, she's worked tirelessly to raise awareness of bowel cancer. Um, she's never stopped supporting people personally, even through the toughest of times for her. And, um, and in her final weeks, I think she's achieved more than most people dream of in a, in a lifetime. She raised £7 million for cancer research. Prince William paid her a visit at home to make her a dame. He and Kate paid their respect on social media today, saying their thoughts are with her children, her family and her loved ones. Deborah was an inspirational and unfalteringly brave woman whose legacy will live on. The Prime Minister also paid tribute, saying the awareness she brought to bowel cancer and the research her campaigning has funded will be her enduring legacy. Because of her, many, many lives will be saved. There's nothing pink about my cancer, it's just brown. Mm -hmm. so it was Deborah's Frank speaking that encouraged Teresa to go to the doctor. She was treated for bowel cancer and is now clear. She has saved my life and I'm sure I'm not alone in um, sending condolences and love and just a huge thank you for raising the awareness and being able to save so many lives. Deborah's family posted a final message from her. Find a life worth enjoying, she said. Take risks, love deeply, have no regrets and always, always have rebellious hope. And finally, check your poo. It could just save your life. Well, Tessa joins us in the studio now. She, she was an incredible woman, wasn't she? Because her message resonated with just so many people. And we've certainly seen that today. Yeah, we really have. She touched so many people's lives. And if I told you, when I was doing the interview with her friend Emma on the steps of the hospital, there were patients coming into the hospital for treatment. And they stopped us and they said to Emma, did you know Deborah? She was such an inspiration to us. And they said, she showed us how to live well and she showed us how to die well too. And I think it's such an incredible legacy that she's left. Now, I said to Emma, I wonder what Deborah would have made of the fact that she's headline news today. And she said she would have laughed, she would have cried, she probably would have had a large glass of wine, but she would have been humble and proud. And then she would have said, let's move on. We need to start doing something. We, keep, we need to keep making this change. And the interesting thing is, if you look at some of the messages, I was looking through her Instagram yesterday because her family put a post on to, to thank everybody for mm. all the, the lovely messages and support. And you look at the number of people who document that the fact that they think that she and her message and the things that she was involved in, like the podcast, like the raising awareness, actually saved people's lives. And, and so many people were saying, she helped me to do this. She helped my family mm. to think about this in a different way, in a new way. And that is an incredible legacy. It really is. You heard Teresa in the report there who said directly she saved my life. She said she saw Deborah on the TV and she was thinking, I'm not sure about these symptoms, but it gave her the courage to go to the doctor to check these symptoms. And when the doctor dismissed her, it gave her the courage to go back and say, no, I need to be checked again. And she was diagnosed mm. with stage two bowel cancer and then treated, it, treated for it. But um, if people do have potential symptoms or they're worried, I think the, there should be a strap line on the screen now, which, uh, which shows bowelcancer.co.uk. Yeah, I think she, if she if she was still with us, she'd be laughing about the fact that check your poo is has been <laughs> trending all day. But that that I think that is 
the magic that she brought because she was so open and brutally honest about what she was going through. Mm. And I think she enabled others to be that brutally honest about their own condition and the conditions that the people in their family were going through. And, and that has really helped to move the conversation on. It has, and she has done it with a smile. And when I was talking to Emma doing that interview earlier today, she said, I can't stop talking about her without a smile on my face. And she said, there are tears as well, lots and lots of tears, but you can't help but smile about this radiant woman.